So let's start now by loosening the shoulders, stretching the heavenly stretch. And circle, going forward and back, freeing any tension from the upper back and neck. And we'll begin by gently stretching sideways, pulling against the knee as you turn, bringing flexibility into the spine. This is a lovely warming up exercise. Twisting, massaging the abdominal organs. We'll make the twist a little bit more intense now, wrapping the hand around the leg. And these movements will help to pep up the liver, so it's a very good way of helping to improve the circulation and the detoxifying process. Freeing the neck, it's very important we do this. It helps us to centre as well. Stretching back and down. And gently rolling. Good, open. first part of the tone, you don't just a little bit more intense now because when we work the cat we're going to add one of the bandits of yoga which is a lock. So when you go head down you pull the tummy up under the rib cage. You can stretch back at the end to relax the body. to warm up the spine and then we're going to come onto all fours again and add the glide remember how this is working the upper body more and the closer you can bring your chin and chest to the ground the more work you'll bring in the upper body Glide. We're making it more dynamic so you can speed up the process in this video. The frog stance, loosening the inner thighs, the groin. Remember to turn your head. Easing the neck. Breathing in. And then the hands rest just above the crown. Abdominal breathing. Now keeping these movements very smooth and flowing. Remember, we synchronize breath with movement. Step through as you can see is working the legs, especially the hamstrings, the psoas muscle. We're going into the flowing strength. A little bit faster than the previous video this time we can work it to an aerobic standard if we wish but remember always to listen to your body you can 
bring the legs straight now. So the more adept we get at this, the easier it will flow. Head to the shin, lovely. Stand so that is Uttanasan. Open and close. Shuffle to the front of your mat. This is the sun salutation where we can drop into the dog face up and dog face down. Remember to get that step through in precisely so we always want to finish at the front of the mat. And you can do your own variation of this if you've been taught some extra movements. salutation there are many variations this one is very dynamic flowing working every part of the body it will bring the musculature into perfect balance so you're not overworking one part more than the other so streamlining is the word Push through, tuck in, head down. See, once you get more proficient, your head will touch the mat. And do as many as you feel is right for you. But always resting in Shavasan. I would recommend keeping the knees bent after sun salutations. this dance as well as streamlining the physical body it also works to redress any imbalance in the body's hormonal system which will impact upon your ability to lose weight so this is why we've structured the class to really focus on the seven chakras or the endocrine glands Owning the legs in this part. Difficult parts of the legs to turn are the inner thighs. And you can take this slower. Give it more time as you build your own practice. But we're working for dynamism here. We're trying to work body into aerobic state so we're using the heart and the lungs and we're improving the metabolism. And this is good because you're going to take more work in the wrists and the arms so it's strengthening bone loading isotonic pose. Again very good for the upper back, neck and shoulders. We're bringing stamina with that jump through very good for the heart. Always add the pedaling and this will get the muscles warmed up nicely. Relax in the child. Now the important thing is to make sure you keep even pressure on both hands and try not to allow the hip to turn too much. So you flick the toes in, flick them back again and a jump through. So in this sequence we're working to improve the coordination, we're working to improve the metabolism and also the all-round suppleness flexibility. So all of the previous stretches we've done are now coming to fruition now. Remember you get out of this practice what you put in. We have to always take it slowly and gradually build.
sing at the end after the sequence. Namaste.